this case where you have only one sensor on one side, you want it on the trailing side of the, of the brake pad. So being that the rotation, the forward rotation is, is moving in this direction, you want the sensor up top here. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna install this. So that other pad will work for the other side. And boom, we're, we're done. Click, it's my torque wrench. Okay, so this is the hardware that they use. You can see there's no grease anywhere near this hardware clip, okay? What they do instead, it's hard to see on this older piece of hardware, what they do is on the back side, they apply a Teflon coating. And this is your quote unquote grease. This, is, this provides your lubrication um, to aid in the abatement of noise. Because as the, the system vibrates, this, that will absorb uh, the, uh, the vibration and the, the frequencies that can come, ba come back and turn out to be noise in the brake system. So this is how you do it. You do not grease the abutments. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who uh, will debate me on that, but all I can tell you is there's about 50, 60, 70 million cars uh, that come out of factories each and every year and not one of them has grease in the abutments. <laughs> All right, now that we're done with the brake job, we're gonna put this tire back on and we're gonna take it out on the road. So we've <laughs> tested hundreds and literally hundreds of, of brake pad materials in, in various shapes, by the way. Um, but along with the uh, you know, within the test results, they're, they're very, very detailed. So you get you know, the different outputs under different conditions, different pressures, um, different speeds. Uh, but all the while, it's taking all these other data, which is one of them is, is actually the uh, fluid displacement with each application. And that will give you, that's what tells you what the compressibility is like. So you start stacking up hundreds of brake pads and you start to see a pattern develop. You know, the, the, the pads, designed for the heavier vehicles have less compressibility. The pads designed for lighter vehicles have more compressibility. And the reason is, as I mentioned, you want to control the feel and, you know, very important for the OEMs, the noise. So. So if noise is an issue for your vehicle, the DFC 5000 pad is what you want. 